Only one day after filing two bills, an Oklahoma lawmaker is backpedaling on some of the language in both of them. Language that another lawmaker called not only unproductive, but racist. Under House Bill 3084, students who, quote, purport to be an imaginary animal, commonly referred to as furries, shall not be allowed to participate in school activities. Representative Justin Humphrey said he authored that bill after hearing stories in other states and a friend telling him of one story here. Do you think that that kind of behavior distracts from other students? And I would say absolutely. The bill says students would be picked up by a parent or animal control. That part, Humphrey says, was a joke. The line about the animal control officers in the bill was sarcasm then? Well, uh, here's the deal. What those people ought to be is mental health. I mean, we can always change the language in that. We should get these kids to some mental health experts. House Bill 3133 would require labeling a known gang member a terrorist if convicted of a gang-related offense, but only if they are of Hispanic descent. Humphrey said this was prompted because of the border and fentanyl crises, but now wants to change it. All politicians uh, seem to never want to say I'm wrong. I have no problem if you're around me, I'm wrong quite a bit. But I do believe after listening to people that uh, we can improve the bill by saying undocumented and I think it makes it a much better bill. Representative Jacob Rosecrans says the furries bill is nothing but pandering in an election year. It purports to uh, fix a problem that never was a problem. Rosecrans says he used to ignore bills he considered outrageous, but now has concerns they could slip through the cracks. And while Humphrey said the language could change, a bill targeting people of Hispanic descent. It shouldn't even be spoken. That bill's horrible. Even if it is changed, Rosecrans says writing bills just to get attention can be harmful whether they pass or not. A lot of folks don't know the process either, also, Aaron. Uh, they don't understand that, yes, this bill's been filed, but it has to go through a full process in the House and the Senate. A lot of folks don't understand that. They see this and they're scared instantly, and that's the problem with these types of fear-mongering bills. Now, Humphrey admitted that the furries bill was more designed to make people aware that it does happen rather than it being a problem here right now. Rosecrans says he's focused on his bill requiring at least 30 minutes of recess at Oklahoma schools.